hey y'all welcome back yes i'm back with another video in the same week this video is my first fall theme video so i'll be showing you how to get this pretty bronzy glowy orange look because we have to start the fall off right so if you want to learn how to achieve this look keep on watching so first i'm starting off with the la girl concealer and i'm using this as a primer to prepare for my eyeshadow I personally love LA Girl Concealer because one, it's very affordable, and two, like, it's just a good concealer. Now I'm using this Air Spun Loose Powder, and I heard a lot of good things about this powder, but be aware, it looks like it's snowing in my video because it's messy, like, it's everywhere, but it smells good, but... It's messy, so you're going to see these flakes throughout the whole video, so just be aware. Now I'm going into my favorite, favorite palette, the ABH Modern Renaissance Palette, and I'm using the color Burnt Orange to basically start off my transition. Now I'm using an even darker shade in the color Rilger. Yeah, Ruger, and I'm putting that under the lighter orange, so I'm trying to create a smokier effect. It just makes your eyeshadow look better, and it's just the right thing to do. So, yeah, gonna blend that out. I'm top one blend for days, so. Now I'm using the Morphe 35O palette, and I'm using this brown bronzy shade. And I'm just going to keep blending until I can't blend anymore. Like, I don't think y'all understand. Like, if this was unedited, I would be blending for mad long. Like, I'd be so serious with the blending. Like, I'd be so scared that my eyeshadow is going to look blotchy. So, I got to keep blending. Then I'm just going to use this even darker brown and just blend that out so basically like you have to ease your way into the darker colors like sometimes it just can't be one light color and then go straight to dark like you have to ease your way like light then the next one then the next one but for darker shades like this one you have to take your time and blend it out because I promise you it's gonna look crazy like this is why it takes so long but it's gonna look crazy so for my lids, I'm using this golden shimmery color, and I'm going to place it on my tiny lids because, well, not even tiny. I barely have any lids, so I got to create the effect that I do have some. So now I'm jumping back into the Modern Renaissance palette, and I'm using this color red ochre or ochre, whatever. And I'm just using it to blend out the golden color so that it doesn't look so packed it on my eye. Now, I know I said that you can go darker, which you can, but I didn't want to because I want it to still be a soft fall look. I didn't want it to be too hard and grungy. The products that I'm using on my face, I don't feel I really need to go into detail with because it's the same products as my last video, but I will have it in the description box. So enjoy the rest of the video.
Alright guys, that's all for this video. If you enjoyed watching, give it a like, subscribe, a share, a comment, all that good stuff. I soak in positivity. Mwah.